All right. <clears throat> Welcome back to the Treehouse. It's Saturday night. Classic joke time. But before that, I've got a little housekeeping to take care of here. First of all, everything, Sally was rough on this area, very rough, but we were very fortunate. There was minor damage and power outage for about a week. Thank goodness for a whole house generator. I heartily recommend those. And we were out of the internet. I was making my phone into a hot spot for about a week, but we did all right and we're very fortunate, like I said. Also, since we met last, YouTube no longer, even though you subscribe to this channel, which does help, so please subscribe, uh, and as they say, leave a thumbs up uh, and click that notification bell. However, YouTube no longer sends out emails when a channel you subscribe to uh, posts a new video. So, make sure you get on my private email list. Send me an email in my address in the uh, box below this video. And be nice. Tell me about um, how you found me. Did you just happen on this channel or someone recommended it? Or you're a former course member? Or, you know, let me know a little bit about yourself. And uh, I answer all of these. So, uh, I'd appreciate that. And we'll start something good happening here. Let's see, I think that was it. All right, so classic joke time. The legendary director, Cecil B. DeMille, had planned the biggest, grandest, most spectacular scene in movie history. And he had been working on this for months and months. And it all took place in a small valley with, a, with steep sides and a rim around the top. And his plan was to post three cameramen, three cameras perched up on the rim of the valley to get all this action in the valley. So the big day came, months and months of planning and preparation. This was going to be his biggest gift to the movie industry. This would be his grandest legacy. All right, so the big day came. They're all staged. Everyone's waiting, ready to go. And he goes, lights, camera, action. Bring in the cowboys and the Indians. All right, so thousands of cowboys come riding in on horses. And then thousands of Indians come in and they're all circling around and fill in the floor of the valley and he says now the covered wagons and then hundreds of covered wagons come charging into the valley and they're all circling up making circles all over the place and then he says all right bring in the dancing girls and thousands and thousands of dancing girls come out of the wings there and start dancing across the valley floor he says, bring in the cattle, bring in the horses. So there's a cattle stampede across the valley. And then hundreds and hundreds of horses come charging through. And then he says, bring down the flying saucers. And hundreds of flying saucers are lowered into this valley. It was spectacular. He says, now for the grand finale, flood the valley. All right, they fill the, the valley with waters halfway flooded now. And then he says, send in the ships. And this armada of ships comes in, all waving American flags. And then he yells, cut. He said, oh, that was my grandest production. That was immaculate. That was perfection. He was so excited. So he, they put him in a Jeep and they drive up to the top of the rim of the valley and he goes up to the first cameraman and said did you get it did you get it all and the cameraman said oh CB as soon as you yelled action I was startled and I tripped I knocked my camera over I didn't get it CB he goes oh thank goodness I had three cameras on this so they drive him over to the second camera did you get it did you get it he goes oh CB I do not believe this. I've been in this industry as a cameraman for 20 years. I never left the lens cap on a camera ever before. I left the lens cap on. 
I didn't get it, CB. Oh, oh, I'm glad I had three set up. They drive him over to the third cameraman. He goes, did you get it? Did you get it? And the cameraman looks up and goes, ready when you are, CB. <laughs>